Hey everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um today I know I'm in bed right now, but I just had my second bunion surgery at the time of this recording. So I'm just relaxing as much as I can. Um, but let's talk about Extreme Rules for a second. I know I didn't get a predictions video out there for you guys. And I'm sorry about that, but... I'm recovering from surgery, like I said. Um, so I wasn't, I was in a lot of pain. So I wasn't able to record that for you. So that's why you didn't see a predictions video yesterday or the day before that. Um, anyway, um. <sighs> Extreme Rules was pretty epic to say, in my opinion, because, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Extreme Rules, but the Extreme Rules preview was pretty epic. Let's see, um... The, the first match that we started off with is the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium. Uh, and that match was pretty full of action. In the end, the Brawling Brutes were able to pick up the victory. Uh... It was a three, it was a six-man tag team match, and the Brawling Brutes won. The next match on the card was Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey in an Extreme Rules match, and... That match was epic. Weapons were used. Um, Liv Morgan put Ronda Rousey through a table. She went up on the up on the top rope and did like a. Ended like, I don't know what she calls it, but she went across, she went on the top rope and did a flying, like, she, she did a sit out, um, she did a sit out landing move, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, she put Ronda Rousey through the table, but then she went for the cover, and Ronda kicked out, and then, um, a lot of back and forth action, um, uh, in the end, it got extreme, but Ronda Rousey was able to pin, um, like, I think she tapped her out, actually. So she tapped Liv Morgan out, and she has become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Um, next we got...
the strap match between Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross. That match was brutal. Um, a lot of marks from the strap. At first, Karrion Cross didn't want to put it on his wrist, and they, the, the ref didn't ring the bell for a couple minutes because the strap has to be on each person's wrist, and Karrion Cross did not put the strap on his wrist for a little while. So they were beaten. He Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross were beating each other up throughout the arena for a good solid few minutes. And then Drew McIntyre put the strap on him carrying cross so the match was able to start it was pretty brutal to be honest with you um it was a lot of back and forth in the end um the um carrying cross was able to pick up the victory because Drew McIntyre was a, about to hit the Claymore kick, but then Scarlet, Scarlet got in the middle of the ring and was pleading with Drew, and then he pushed her out of the way, and then she pulled his arm and then sprayed him with pepper spray. Um... So he couldn't kick out because he was worried about his eyes. Um, next match we have on the card is the Raw Women's Championship. I thought I thought Bailey was gonna win. But she didn't. Um, it was a one-on-one -on -one ladder match between Bianca Belair and Bailey, and I didn't know who to root for because I like Bailey and Bianca pretty much evenly. So uh, there was pretty. A lot of pretty intense spots. Um, uh, I had to think about what happened for a minute. A lot of back and forth between Bianca and Bailey. Bianca was able to pick up the victory. Um, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of taking turns coming the ladder. But in the end, Bianca Bella picked up the victory. I think she threw, she hit a double KOD on Dakota Kai and Io Sky. And then she hit another KOD on top of the ladder to Bailey, and then she was able to pick up the victory. Next match, we have the I Quit match between Edge and um, Finn Balor. That match was intense, let me tell you. I really wanted Edge to pick up the victory because I'm a big fan of Edge. There was a lot of, um, 
there was a lot of uh, weapons being used. There was a lot of Ed got a hockey stick and put it in Finn Balor's mouth. So there was a lot of um, cool spots and they were fighting almost everywhere you can imagine. They fought in the crowd, they fought in the ring. They fought out of the ring, wherever, where, wherever you can imagine they fought. Um, um, but it was a good match. Both men didn't want to give up. Um, they both wanted to win. But, the Judgment Day and Finn Balor, well, first of all, Beth Phoenix came out and helped her husband with the match because Rhea Ripley distracted Edge and then he, and then she put handcuffs on Edge and handcuffed them to the ring. So then Rey Mysterio came out at first and Dominic Mysterio was beating up on his father. Um and, and then he tri Ray tried to help um Edge but Dominic was beating him down so he couldn't do much. Then Beth Phoenix came out and try and she helped her husband escape from the handcuffs. She beat up Rhea Ripley and got the handcuffs from her and then she unlocked the handcuffs so Edge could spear so Edge could fight back. Edge hit a couple spears, and then, and then, they attacked Beth, and then, Edge was like, don't attack her, I quit, I quit, so, in the end, Finn Balor was able to pick up the victory by using, like, beating up Edge's wife, Beth Phoenix. Uh, the, the last match that we have is Seth Rollins versus Matt Riddle in the fight pit. And the fight pit match was very good. Um, a lot of back and forth, a lot of climbing the cage. And Seth dressed up like Rob Van Dam, I think, because he did the Rob Van Dam thing. As he was coming out of the ring. Coming towards the ring. So there was a lot of jumping off the cage. And then. And then. Riddle was able. To pick up the victory. Via. Like. They had to count. Ten. But. Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle. Both climbed up to the top of the fight pit and they were fighting up there Seth Rollins had a stomp on the top of the fight pit and then he was begging the special guest referee I can't remember his name now 
but he was telling him to count. And the, he was like, no, Seth, I can't count it unless he's down. So, um, Seth Rollins was arguing with the ref, and then, um, Matt Riddle was able to, I think, hit a knee, and then he fell, Seth Rollins fell down, and then Matt Riddle got, got up and hit a floating bro to um, Seth Rollins, and then he was, Matt Riddle was able to pick up the victory. And at the end of the night, oh, this is exciting. Again, spoilers ahead. So if you want to stop watching this and watch Extreme Rose before any more spoilers or spoilers, go ahead and pause the video and watch Extreme Rose if you want to. Um, but, this had me, sorry, my feet, my foot's back. <sighs> oh. My dad was saying, Matt Riddle was able to pick up the victory. But then, but then, the lights went out, and everybody had their camera lights on, so then I was like, what the heck is going on here? So, then I was like, and then they played the Fiends music. They got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. And I thought, no way. No way. And I was jumping out of my seat. Because then you could see the rambling rabbit. Um, Mer Mercy the buzzard. In a life-sized, like, costume. And then I was like, no way. No way. And then Brett, the Fiend's mask showed up. Like, was on Bray Wyatt's face. Bray Wyatt's face. And I was like, no way. It's Bray Wyatt. It's Bray Wyatt. So, The Fiend is back. Bray Wyatt is back. And I'm super excited that he's back. Um, hopefully we get a couple Firefly Funhouse episodes. And see the fiend in action on the season premiere of Monday Night Raw, so, yeah, pretty exciting pay-per-view, it gives a high rating for me, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it, thank you guys for watching, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel, I do videos all the time, Thanks for watching, guys. Links to my friend's channel, my second channel, and my work's channel, and my Discord will all be linked in the video description. Thank you guys again for watching. See you in the next video.